Hello everyone, my name is Cooper from the Legion of Cartoons. Um, I'm here to show you a game mode that I've been working on for quite some time now. Uh, not really, I started working on it a few days ago, early, but still, so it's a lot more fancy if you say it like that. Um, it's called Heart vs Fish, or uh, Claim the Sponge, if you feel like being less original. So basically you have uh, two sides of planes with these kinds of uh, hollow wood uh, and these sorts of sapling destroyers or something. There's no wooden these, they just there to make sure you always have saplings in case the other team burns down your wood. Uh, beneath here there's pockets of air because I just clipped these in hollow. This is to make sure the monsters spawn in them because it becomes dark and it gives them lots of room to spawn, makes it a bit harder. But below all of this, there's always like normal and everything's uh, usual. The point of this map is to kind of race each other, the, uh, the team fish and the team heart, into getting diamond. Because you need diamond to get up to the other team's shrine, which is located above their spawn as well. Uh, with a diamond pickaxe, dig through the obsidian. I think it's two blocks normally, but this one's a bit bugged, so it's only one. Uh, get the sponge and take it back to your own shrine and then put it atop the other sponge on your shrine. It is quite hard and takes quite some time usually the way it's made right now. Last time I had my beta test to do it, it took them I think it was 50 minutes to finish the entire thing. It's quite some time so I'm looking to improve that. Uh, ideally it would be like 20 to 30 minutes per much. But anyway, when the game starts, so and, and you start it, um, you ha preferably have a referee, but to make sure that nobody cheats, because I was a referee when we were playing. But otherwise, just put it to night. Uh, time set minus nine 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 nine. And the moment it's nine, everyone goes to sleep, both teams. And then the moment it's set today, they can rush out. And obviously, it will be time of one then. Uh, when you start off. Uh, my beta testers usually went for the wood first, got some wood, uh, then got uh, stone, got stone tools, and then they rushed one of these three objectives. Because what I've done with this map is, you have a wall in the middle separating the two sides, as I previously said. Um, above the wall, there is a little island, and X marks as well, I've said here. In the island, there's brewing materials, so you can make potions, which gives you an advantage if you capture this point before the others do. And on this side, you have a boat. Um, in that boat, on the sail, there is 10 iron, and under deck, there's another 10. I'll just give you a quick look. Uh, like this. It's not fancy, really. It's just there to be a siege objective. So, if you're on the Team Heart side, you're gonna be uh it's gonna be a lot easier for you to get to the sail one. But if you're on Team Fish, it's easy for you to just build a bridge from there to here and then run down the stairs and get the iron. Because obviously if you get the iron that early you get a head start above the others. So ideally your your team will get all of the iron possible. So we have the island and the boat. Uh and since three is a magic number I had to get another siege objective into this on the opposite side of the boat. So it's kind of a choice when you start off whether you're going for the island, the boat, or the tower. It's a floating tower uh, right next to the trunk. It's uh, so far been quite funny to see them battle over it because so many people fall off when making a bridge because it's a lot smaller than the boat. Anyway, on top of the tower is a chest with a block on top, so you need a, need a pickaxe to get it. Or you could just hit it with hand, but it takes some time. With 59 ingots, that's because it's a bit harder. And also, if you go through all of these layers with uh, platforms, they're there to make sure monster spawns. So it's a bit harder. You can get down here, and there's another chest with 59. So the tower's worth 30 iron, and the boat is worth 20. And the, the little island in the middle is worth uh, potions, basically. But it's quite interesting, really, because nobody's been going for the potions. I'm not sure if they just if uh, the potions are underpowered compared to the iron in the start, or if they just CBA to build themselves up. 
So what I did, after 20 minutes of a match, I put three diamond blocks in the middle because sometimes I didn't have time to go down digging. Because ideally, a match would be like uh, both teams start digging at the start because they want to sh make sure that they get diamond before the other ones so they can get into the other shrine with the diamond pickaxe. But sometimes it never went for the diamond because there was so much war going on. So I had to put three diamond walls up here. And they could battle over it. It was pretty epic, but I think it doesn't really work that way. So I think I re what I really want is people just digging themselves. I want to promote that as much as possible. So it's like a survival race rather than just PvP. Uh, anyway, uh, also you can see I've been quite lazy with these kinds of threes, uh, trees. Because what I did is just paste in globes and MC edit on top of uh, wooden pillars. So it's just cut off here because the height limit prevents it from going further up. Uh, I'll be changing that sooner if there's popular demand, but otherwise I'll just CBI because when you're looking at it from below, it doesn't really appeal all that much. I mean, I can't see it's cut off from here. Anyway, I think that's it, really. Uh, we have the three objectives, the spawn and the shrine. Uh, we have team fish, team heart. We have the wall, which is, by the way, hollow as well. Just like the... Uh, uh, wooden pillars. It's pretty cool because you can easily make a base inside one of these so you don't have to make one yourself. But other teams will expect that as well. Now, we need to go through a few rules as well before you start playing this yourself. Uh, first of all, one thing that is extremely, extremely important you do not do is plant traps at your shrine. Because what my beta testers did is they got lava from below, uh, some uh, some place inside the chunk, and then they just shrouded <laughs> the entire shrine with lava like this. And that's just ridiculous, because there's no way for you to get to the, um, what's it called, the sponge. Because you'd have to pour water on top of this, which would make even more obsidian for you to mine. It's really overpowered. So... No on that, you may not do this. Uh, another thing you may not do is traverse to the mainland. There are some spots where it's easier than others. This is a quite huge gap, but it's, there's one spot which is really, really small. I'm going to edit that later, but you, you may not do that at all. Yeah, because it's cheating, I'm telling you. Also, a rule with the sponge. If a team has gone to your sponge, let's say I just went here and took it, I've jumped down and I'm being chased by uh, Team Fish, because it's a Team Fish design, sorry for the lag spike. Um, and then I get hit and I die. The sponge has been dropped. When Team Fish now go back to take the sponge, they may choose between placing it back at the shrine or keeping it at their person. They may also throw it to each other, as long as they do not place it down or hide it. It is not allowed. So, after that, uh, mo most team when beta testing teams uh, kept it on them and just had the person hide but I really discourage that because the game is less fun that way but obviously you can hide yourself it would be quite uh, ridiculous if you couldn't but I think that's it really there's not much more to say um, it's a survival map so anything else is allowed you may lava grief the other's house you may build dirt pillars to reach stuff, everything. Just have a good time. And as previously mentioned, having a referee is really good. Because one time we had one of the teams spawning TNT beforehand, and then jumping off the cliff after dropping it on the ground and saying, oh, I have no items anymore. But what he really did was just keep them on the ground, so he got TNT and cheated during the match. Uh, those kinds of things should be prevented as much as possible. But yeah, otherwise, Except for that, um, we're done. So I hope you like this map. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to put it up on for download. First off, I'm going to post this video on, on Minecraft forums and see if there's any demand. And if there is, uh, sure, I'm going to put it up for download and you can play it yourself with your friends. So have a really good day and I'll see you next time. Peace.